This tiny pupa you see here next to a dime is of the Promethea moth. And here is our first to hatch out. For this species of giant silk moth, it is easy to tell male from female as the males are mostly black like this one, whereas the females are shades of cinnamon and browns. This silk moth, although not very large at a mere three to four inches, makes up for size with beauty. With so many large moths wearing the typical grays and browns, these males have incredible deep indigo coloring that is easily recognized. Promethea moths can be found throughout areas of the United States and Canada, and these were raised on wild black cherry as caterpillars although they will eat several other host plants such as sassafras, sweet gum, and tulip tree. I have found these moths to be more active than many of the other giant silk moths, needing almost no warm-up time and eager to fly both day and night, ready to go at a moment's notice. The wings have a beautiful design towards the edge, which appears to almost look hand-drawn with a fine sharpie, as it is so defined from the edge of the wing, almost appearing like teeth. As we follow the wing down, notice the tiny furry scales on the bottom of the wings and the interesting patterning on the wing's edge. These males also sport some gorgeous full antenna. They are really quite stunning. So now we wait on the last pupa to hatch out with high hopes for a female so that we may have a chance to continue raising the offspring of these gorgeous creatures.